When a court interprets a statutory provision, sources of information outside of the actual text of the statute, such as its legislative history, can be helpful in revealing the underlying legislative intent. But the Oregon court, in Portland General Electric Company v. Bureau of Labor and Industries, considered whether courts must first examine the relevant provision's text in the context of the full statute before considering other sources. In 1988, an employee of Portland General Electric Company requested 12 weeks of parental leave. He sought to use his accrued sick leave as part of the parental leave. The employee was a member of an electrical workers' union that had a collective bargaining agreement with the company. Under the agreement, an employee could use sick leave only if actually sick, and the company therefore denied the employee's request on that basis. The employee filed a complaint with the Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries, alleging unfair labor practices under a state labor statute. According to the statute's relevant provision, an employee may use accrued sick leave during parental leave. The statute's provision didn't specify that an employee must be sick to use accrued sick leave, but the company argued that the provision should be interpreted subject to the collective bargaining agreement. Accordingly, the company claimed that an employee must actually be sick to use accrued sick leave. The Bureau rejected the company's interpretation, holding that the agreement didn't limit the employee's use of sick leave. The company petitioned the Oregon Court of Appeals for review. The Court of Appeals affirmed, holding that the statute's unambiguous language and its legislative history supported the Bureau's interpretation. The company appealed to the Oregon Supreme Court.